This is it. Hunter, I never asked. Are you all right with this? I know it is what you want, but this might be the last time we speak. I thought the last time we'd ever speak was three centuries ago. The chance to spend time with you again. I am so lucky and so proud. If this doesn't work, please don't let Sarah know. She shouldn't have to lose me again. I understand. But it will work. Wanda knows what she's doing. I believe in her. In all of you. Besides, I'm Agatha Harkness. The world won't be rid of me till I'm ready to go. Ah, Hunter! My anticipation for this moment was boundless. You knew about her ghost? I sensed her energy, and I knew she wasn't a hostile spirit. Why did you not say anything? I could always trust Agatha to have an elaborate plan. I surmised she would enact it when necessary. And so she has. Don't know how this is possible, but I'm... You and Wanda working together. That's not an expression. If I wake up tomorrow... Don't let... Keeping secrets, eh? <laughs> That's Agatha for you. Between you and me. How so? Agatha always had a backup plan. Never thought I'd be... So here we are. But you should have better lies. Your deception was put. Thanks, Magic. What are friends for? That was not rhetorical. Sometimes I wonder. So, I'm a... I could not tell any... <sighs> not that. Here, I was thinking you and Wanda were gonna be... Anything is possible. We're about to restore the spirit... Hey, Hunter. Thanks for doing... Do you know... No idea. So, why... Why else? To support you and Wanda. <laughs> of course. When Agatha's back... Everyone's here. We're almost ready to begin. What else do we need? The braziers indicate the ritual boundary. Once you light them, we can begin. I will be right back. Chaos magic is a huge drain on my mental health, you know. With you at her side, Wanda will do fine. This is it. How can you... Uh, I'm a witch? You are... Uh, I have a good feeling, okay? This will work. We will get her... Agatha? Or Wanda? Yes. Ms. Maximoff should not be disturbed when performing the ritual. Do you think she can... I know she can. This... This is the... Alive? I was going to say... Fires are lit. Any last words before we begin? Once we start, there's no going back. Let us begin. What do you need me to do? Stand back and make sure nothing disturbs us. The Grey Seneschal is a finicky ritual. Agatha Harkness.
Can you hear me? I can. The Grey Seneschal extends a hand. Shall you take it, knowing it may lead to your destruction? I shall. Do you willingly sever your bond to this world, knowing it may lead to your dissolution? I do. And will you open yourself to the Grey Seneschal, knowing it may lead to your possession? I will. Spoken, witnessed, and sealed. I can, I will, now begin. Steady, Wanda. I call upon the Grey Seneschal. Seize the spirit of Agatha Harkness and deliver her into this world. It's her. Oh, I can see her. I can see... Agatha? Sarah, wait. She did not want you to find out like this. How are you here? I couldn't find a keepsake. A simple spell said it was here. The locket. Wanda stole it. I nearly caught her outside my room, didn't I? Wanda was the lookout. I am the one who stole it. Why would you do that to me? Agatha asked me to. Asked? Why would you pull her back from her final rest? You should know better. Sarah... She never left the Abbey. She has been here for months. Then what are you? The Grey Seneschal. I won't let you do this to her. Sarah, wait. Wanda won't destroy her again. Sarah, no! What have you done to her? Nothing worse than what you've done, Sarah. Agatha? You were the worst thing to happen to me. Oh, how I loathed our time together. It took death to finally free me of your insipid- This isn't Agatha. Reveal yourself. <laughs> Hello, sweetling. Mephisto. Release Agatha. We have no quarrel with you. I have quarrel with him. You want me to simply give you this withered Ecto puppet? Come oh, now. Someone must know how this works. It's always the same with you. The devil is here, and he's ready to bargain. Ah, the hairy little creature remembers how it works. No bargains. Release Agatha. Right now. No, no, no. I'm willing to make a simple trade. Give me Ileana, and you can have this faded rag of spirit. Fine. Don't lie to the devil. It's embarrassing for both of us. I thought you were the true power here. But if you have no hold over the Queen of Limbo, you're as useless to me as this wizened phantasm. Wait. I will speak with Ileana. Good, good. But don't take too long. If you delay, I'll melt this shriveled spirit. There is little to say. Ileana, I am just stalling for... Shush. There is little to say because I know how to push him out. What is the plan? If I banish him directly, he takes her with him. But if I channel my power through someone close to Agatha... Yeah. Wham! Sucker punch! He loses control, I banish him, and Agatha stays behind. Then why have you not done it already? Channeling my power through a person causes lasting injury. I do not know who should bear this suffering. I can only offer myself. Hunter, this is quite dangerous. Are you certain? To save Agatha, defy the devil, and keep you from his clutches? <laughs> of course I am certain. You are a fool. But you are the best fool I know. Give me the signal when you're ready. Enough deliberations. Do we have a bomb? Magic, what do we say to the devil? We say... 
The devil can go to hell! Agatha? Sarah, you can hear me? And see you. What, no kiss? And that's how I know it's you. What you've done here, to bring everyone together, it's... It's not enough. I've never been more delighted to tell you how wrong you are. This is so much better than we'd expected. We just need to finish it. We? Does that mean you'll stay and help? You thought I did all this to say goodbye? Oh, Sarah, you're hopeless. Not anymore. Look at that. Hunter, would you mind walking with me? They deserve some privacy. Indeed. Agatha's back. It worked. We do well together. I was thinking the same thing. So what now? We should let them catch up. Agreed. See you tomorrow. I'm going to bed and don't plan to set an alarm. An offering bowl, but what to offer? It seems my offering was accepted. Huh, this looks like it belongs here. Maybe I should come back later. Kids actually did it. Agatha's back. This place already feels more lively. So to speak. I just keep going over it again. And all is as it should be. Miss Maximoff acquitted herself with aplomb, as did you and Miss Rasputin. Are you concerned about Mephisto? <laughs> no more than any other day. We can't sit back now. We still have several villages to evac. You realize... Out there, I follow your lead, Hunter. You haven't steered us wrong yet. A 
good leader always endures for the sake of others. Please do not take such a risk again, especially considering the condition of your collar. I can't thank you enough, and I'm certain I will over the coming days. But right now, do you mind terribly if I catch up with the love of my life? And afterlife. Don't make me haunt you. shackles and dragged her to the courthouse. Sure, they were going to take the torch to her, or the noose. But Agatha's not the kind of... Hey, can I ask a favor? Okay, well, thanks anyway. spent some time decrypting the data drive Crossbones gave to Cap. I hope it gave us good information on Hydra. He gave us good intelligence, all right. But it's not about Hydra. It's about us. Take a look. He had files on all of us. Cap, me, Stark, Blade, Magic, Nico, everyone. Strengths, weaknesses, mostly weaknesses. We can use this information to fix our deficiencies. Whatever he viewed as a weakness, we can make into a strength. I like the way you think. Now I just need to convince Cap that distributing these files to the team is a good idea. This isn't even all of it. There's a whole other section, but I can't access it. More encryption? Multiple layers of it. I could probably get it, but it'll take me a while. Cap could make this go a lot quicker. Where is he? I'm surprised he is not going over these files with you. He was with me when we first unlocked the drive. He was already agitated from Crossbones' death, but I think seeing what he had on us really set him off. He excused himself in a hurry. Now I need him back. I will find him and convince him to come back. You do not have to worry about that. I have no doubt you can be most persuasive when you want to be, Hunter. Was there... Anything about me on that drive? Strangely, no. Not a word. Odd. I'll keep trying to break this code while you find Cap. What's the latest intel? Really good intel here. We've got a lot to go on. Pick a bad guy. Any bad guy. If I had time, I'd take care of these myself, but I have been accused of hogging the ball before. Who are we sending on an op? Lucky you caught me in a good mood. Hunter, got any concerns? Steve, Carol needs your help decrypting Crossbones' files. <laughs> it figures she'd send you. Did she tell you I want nothing to do with it? Because I still don't. Those files he had on the team are disturbing. If you need to take a moment... That's not why I left. It was something Crossbones said. The old man. He was talking about my greatest enemy. Who? The Red Skull commanded Hydra during the war. Obsessed with the occult. You think the Red Skull had something to do with those files? I'm certain. One file is called Project Gutmorder. A classic name for a Red Skull terror weapon. Rumlow wants... wanted me to use the tools of my oldest enemy to defeat the newest. 
I won't give him the satisfaction. You are looking at this the wrong way. How do you think I should see it? Crossbones made a point of drawing you to him. Then he found a way to get close to you. In the end, he turned on Lilith. He gave those files to the only person he could trust to put them to good use. That's an interesting theory, but I won't give Rumlow the benefit of the doubt. That is not your call to make. You helped put me in charge? Now trust me to do my job. Well, I guess you have been paying attention. The enemy of my enemy is my friend, huh? <sighs> I'll talk to Carol and do what I can. Thanks for helping me work through this, Hunter. Of course. Remember last night when we totally sent that devil back to hell? This should be useful. There's a weird feeling around. Ooh, new coil. Let's get to work. Sometimes I even impress myself. How long did you? Day, Hunter. Hello, my sweet girl. Allow us to assist you. I'm here if you need me. Gonna go easy. Time's wasting, Hunter. Hydra won't want to tell. Ready to work? Just sit back. Always improvements to be made. No pain, no gain. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way.
Whatever that device is, Hydra would rather destroy it than allow us to capture it for analysis. Don't waste any time. Take them out before they can do any serious damage. Those soldiers are targeting the device. Do whatever it takes to stop them. medical plan to cover the beating we're about to put on you. how well Hydra manages to attract new recruits despite decades of ineptitude. Even the mother of demons is forced to rely upon hired hands occasionally. That's the good. I do feel a little stronger. At least Hydra Green is iconic, if you're a low-rent mercenary. This is one of the stronger arms. We did come all the way here for a fight. Your high 
Hydra would throw in the tower already. I barely felt that one. the upper hand. We've got incoming Hydra. You know what to do. Chaos unleashed. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. Battle requires. Your actions have consequences. That is really something. I'm not sure it's ethical for people like us to beat up chumps like you. We're in trouble now. So that's how that works. Tactic. I don't appreciate. 
appreciate that. Not bad. Looks like we've acquired some new hardware courtesy of Hydra. Good work. Friendo. Hello, Hunter. Hey there. Chaos magic is a huge drain on my mental health, you know. How so? Agatha and Caretaker told so many stories. The idea of you was nearly beyond imagining, but the actual you? Rather normal. I thought I made a better impression. You do. I wouldn't know how to speak with the person they described. But with you, the real you, it's so easy. It shouldn't be this easy. I always pictured a gulf between us. The other Midnight Suns only had good things to say about you. I looked forward to meeting you. I'm sorry it was under such negative circumstances. The real you. I do not hold Lilith's control against you. You should not hold it against yourself, either. This is nice. It feels better than I deserve. No, it is exactly what you deserve. And that is? A chance. Hmm. Unexpected, yet appreciated. It has been a while since I have seen you here, Sarah. I guess when you live forever, Places of worship take on a different significance. It doesn't seem so important to turn to a high power when you're not faced with the inevitability of death. But now, death, to even us immortals, is becoming an inescapable inevitability. Ah, so here I am, asking for guidance. But the Elder Gods are long gone. Only whispers of their power remain. So, I've been sitting here quietly, trying to listen to whatever advice they have to offer, if any. They do not have anything to say, Sarah. Like you said, 
they are gone. Yes, I guess I'm just wasting my time then, trying to speak to ghosts. Perhaps I should be asking Agatha. She would know better than I on what to do. Her spirit has only made herself known for one night, and she's already done more to heal the wounds of this team than I have in six months. Do not be so hard on yourself. You have been focused on the mission. Yes, but I feel like I've neglected the well-being of my team. No, Sarah. You have been keeping us alive. There will be plenty of time for more healing after we defeat Lilith. I do hope we get that chance. If we survive, I hope to learn more soft skills from her. She was always the more maternal one out of the two of us. I will not argue with you there. Well, I should leave you to your prayers. Let's hope someone answers them. Thank you, Hunter, but I'd like to be left alone to my thoughts now. Ah, I see you have been reunited with your grimoire. Actually, it's my diary. I'm not ready to be reading spell books again. At least not yet. Making a new entry? I am. About what? About you, actually. May I read it? Um, no way. It's a diary, Hunter. It's private. But I want to know what you think of me. You really have to ask? Come on, you're one of my closest friends here. You're the first person since Agatha who believed in me. I mean, really believed in me. So, I'm setting it in ink because I never want to forget how you took a chance on me. Our camaraderie is one that will be retold in the annals of history. That's the idea. Your friendship means more than you know. Although I'm still not sure I deserve it sometimes. What makes you say that? Because I'm dangerous. But you know that is exactly what makes you a formidable sorceress on the battlefield. Sure, but it also makes me potentially deadly to my friends. I mean, what if I'm conjuring some spell or hexed some hellhound and accidentally hurt you? I couldn't live with myself. I harbor the same fears. You do? Of course. I often worry about mistakenly injuring my allies and friends all the time. How do you deal? Because I haven't figured it out. I remember that sometimes accidents happen on the battlefield, and friendly fire is inevitable. Well... Let's hope you don't get caught in my friendly fire. I don't want to be the cause of any more pain for anyone ever again. Except for Hydra. It is okay to cause them pain. Right. They're the exception. And Shadowhounds, Nest Mothers, Lower Level Lilin, and Lilith. Do not forget to hurt them, too. Okay, okay. I get your point. I hope so. Because we need you, Wanda. We need you to bring the pain. 
Just be sure to aim it in the right direction, and you... Um... We all will be fine. Thanks, Hunter. You make me feel needed, and sometimes that's your own special brand of magic. doing something nice for Strange. You know, he was the only one. Anyway. You could always get a new roommate for him. <laughs> Seriously. I can't believe they haven't knocked heads yet. Strange is very particular. I can't imagine him sharing a room with anybody, especially Tony. Maybe he has gotten used to Tony's chaotic energy. I don't know if never making your bed counts as chaotic energy. I think we call that being a slob. There are some things we are not meant to understand. The universe works in mysterious ways, right? Ah, <sighs> I'll figure it out. Underneath the cape of pretension, there's a real gem of a human. Don't tell Steven that, though. It'll go straight to his head. Who's a good girl? It is my Charlie girl. What have you got for me, boss? Another magical mystery box. And to Sometimes, I even impress myself. Always a pleasure. Don't tell me. Red Skull's plans for Wondegor Monorail. Close. Red Skull dug them back in World War II, but where they go, well, we're not sure. Yet. There are some hints in Crossbones' data that a few of the tunnels might even be older. How much do we trust Crossbones' data? I trust it enough to investigate and launch reconnaissance. Up for a little smash and grab, Logan? Ah, I see where this is going. It's a cannonball special. Except that you're throwing me at a whole mountain. We know you're strong enough to take it. Want in on the action, Steve? Negative. I need to poke around Crossbones' hard drive. There's still encryption I can't crack. Maybe it's spicy love letters from Crossbones to Sin? She's Red Skull's daughter or granddaughter or something. Anyone sharing a family tree with Red Skull is bad news. Dating Crossbones is proof of that pudding. That's right. I wonder what kind of murder sonnets those two deranged lovebirds wrote to each other. But while it would make some titillating nightmare fuel, we have bigger fish to fry. And it's a big old doozy of a fish. Something called Project Gottmorder. Based on my limited German, that sounds promising. Agreed. Only it could be nothing. Red Skull dulled out fancy names left and right. I think the answer's here, in Crossbones data. What we do know is that these tunnels go somewhere. And Hydra's hiding something. Something potentially big. Well, that's more context than I normally get for potential suicide missions. 
Into the Hydra Nest we go. If we're really going into those tunnels underneath Mount Wondagor, get ready for some good old-fashioned grime and slime. Are you saying the Red Skull did not value comfort? The guy was a Nazi whose head was the color of an inflamed big toe. I doubt he was trucking in lacy throw pillows down there. I will adjust my expectations. The map we have is pretty loose, but luckily, you're gonna have me leading the way. So don't worry about getting stuck or lost. If you are confident you know where to go, then I will be right there beside you. Smart, Hunter. Real smart. Trust me and we'll get in and out of there before Hydra knows what's up. With any luck, we will learn the Skull's secrets quickly. Yeah. It'll be good to see what the old Bonehead was up to. You talk as though you knew him. It's not like we traded punches or anything, but I was in Canadian intelligence during the war. The Skull was definitely on our radar. As nasty as you'd expect. Obsessed with the occult. And this Project Gottmorder? That's new to me. Hopefully it lives up to its name. I'd hate to go all the way down there and find out it's just a regular old mortar. Your jokes are mortaring me, Logan. Whoa, nice German humor, Hunter. If I had a hat on, I'd tip it to you right now. Tonka. Whatever it is, I hope we can get it out of there. I don't want to spend more time in those tunnels than I have to. On that, we can agree. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. I tell you, there's nothing better than a bunch of spooky tunnels. You're headed into unsecured tunnels beneath Mount Wondagor with Wolverine as your guide. I'd understand if you've got some worries. I have full faith in Wolverine, and I can handle myself. We will be fine, no matter what we find in those tunnels. That is some A-plus courage you're displaying, Hunter. You and Logan will make us all proud. What was Logan saying about someone named Sin? Ah, uh, yes. She's a member of Red Skull's family. I've tangled with her a few times. She's a chip off the old block. Minus the giant Red Skull, of course. Do you think she knows about this Project Gottmorder? I have no doubts. I caught her trying to raid a museum for some of Red Skull's artifacts. If Crossbones was going to give his intel to anyone besides Lilith, it would have been her. But he did not. He gave it to you. Right. And that leaves us little choice. If we don't find this Project Gutmortar, it's only a matter of time before Sin does. Good luck out there. Hey, can I ask a favor? Maybe Crossbones underwent a change of heart. Bye. Straight into the demons, there we go. Back again. Not everyone wants my advice, but they're gonna get it either way. Peace. Let's do this. <laughs> 